a prayer meditation for All Saints Day. We give you thanks, O God, for all the saints who ever worshipped you, whether in arbors or cathedrals, wooden churches or cement meeting houses. We give you thanks, O God, for hands lifted in praise, manicured hands, and hands stained with grease or soil, strong hands, and hands gnarled with age, holy hands. We thank you, God, for hardworking saints, whether hard-hatted or aproned, blue-collared or three-piece suited. They left their mark for you, for us, for our children to come. Thank you for the sacrifices made by those who have gone before us. Bless the memories of your saints. May we learn how to walk wisely from their examples of faith, dedication, worship, and love. Amen. Hi, friends. On um, this special All Saints Day, we will be recognizing loved ones who have gone before us to, to be with the Lord. And I know it. It may be uh, it may be filled with sadness today, but it's also a celebration to know um, a job well done is being noted, and that our our friends are going home. Now, for us who are still living this journey, as we can tell, we're not in the church, but we still have much to do in our own homes, wherever we are. And I remind you to be attentive to, to the situations that are taking place in our communities and beyond. Please remember to stay masked and social distance yourselves so that, so that we can be safe. Many have said that, you know, they're bored of this, Guess what? There's no one listening to me, right? So am I. But we need to be diligent and faithful and respond to our new normal by loving our neighbor, all of our neighbors. We can do this. Wear the mask. Love your neighbor. So please um, do that. And also, um, reach out to one another. Check on people and make certain that, um, that everyone's doing okay. Um, and, and know that both churches, you have newsletters that are either uh, in your mail or email at this point, or they will be coming, that will inform you of different things that are happening. So get prepared to read them and be informed. So many things are coming our way, and many things will be a blessing for this service. So as we get prepared, friends, let's pray. Lord, who, who lifts us up, reside in our hearts today. Help us, help us to, to listen closely for your word to us. Remind us that you are always with us throughout all of our lives. Give us confidence in your presence so that we may go into your world, ready to witness to your love through our works and our deeds. For we pray this in the name of Jesus. And all people everywhere say, Amen. Amen. Friends, let's worship together. We attend the baptism confirmation class at Fairborn United Methodist Church, and we're doing the morning prayer. Dear Heavenly Father, during this challenging time with the coronavirus election days and distance learning, please be with us. We pray for our congregations, leadership, church, local, state, and federal. We pray for those who cannot attend today, and we pray for the church both structural and pray for the day that we can gather together as a family come soon. We pray for the sick, the hurting, those that have lost loved ones, and also those that are well. We 
thank you that we are able to still attend church even though we are not on location. We pray for those who are starting their path of Christianity, and we ask you for the strength and you that lies before us. Thank you, God, for everything. Amen. Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Daily bread and forgive us our trespasses. As we forgive those who trespass against us, lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, power, and glory forever and ever. Welcome to Children's Time, and this is a very special Sunday. Macy can't be with us today but she sent us a friend who's going to help us understand All Saints Sunday. Uh, Saints? Is that a new food treat? I love food. Yeehaw! I don't think I've met you before. I'm not so sure this is going to work. Uh, I'm, just call me Ivan like I've an appetite for some food right now. <laughs> Get it? Uh, eh, uh. Well, I even have to tell you, that's the worst dad joke I've heard for a long time. And I hate to disappoint you, but we're not talking about food today. We're talking about saints. That's what I said. I want some M&Ms, and you might consider a new bike, some games. Wait, 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 wait a minute. What, what do you think food, bikes, and games have to do with saints? <sighs> St. Nicholas, the saint with presents. You brought it up, and you probably are a little early with this Christmas thing. Pastor Rick says we wait until December. Yes, I do know St. Nicholas, but I didn't say anything about Christmas. I'm talking about saints. Well, here's my bag. You can just start filling it, this, this with presents. You brought, no, never mind. Uh, just fill it and I'll get out of your hair. Ooh, oops, I'll get out of your life. We're not having a good day, it seems. Let's start again. Today is All Saints Day. Saints are people in our lives who have done really good things for us and with us. But they have passed away and aren't with us anymore. Today, we honor them by stopping to remember what we miss about them. This doesn't seem to be going the way I wanted it to. Can I just ask if this means no presents or extra food today? I think you have the idea, and there must be someone you really miss. Like maybe a grandparent or a teacher? Oh, like my Aunt Nellie. She would sneak me a piece of candy now and then, and she made me learn my letters so I'd be ready for school. She really loved me. Your Aunt Nellie really sounds like a saint. I'm not sure I'd have that much patience with you. She lived next door, and I went over to borrow a cup of flour a lot. Mom never could remember to buy it at the store. Hmm, I think your mom might have had a good thing going there. Well, I, I'm not so sure. Mom didn't even ask for the flower when I got home. I guess I'd have to say Aunt Nellie really was a saint. Anyone else come to mind? Well, <clears throat> there is Saint Francis. He was the patron saint of animals. Like me. Oh. oh, yes. He lived a long time ago. He would be proud of us for having Earth Day now. He thought every creature on Earth had value and should be cared for. Wow. Do you have a saint to remember? Oh, I'm so old now that I have lots of saints to remember. But one in particular would be Macy's mother. She lived on a farm. She was raising seven kids. And then me, a complete stranger, shows up. And she took care of me and kept those siblings from getting after me. So I really enjoyed it. And she made me cookies, too. Oh, I like the idea of having an All Saints Day mm -hmm. after all. And see, it is about food. 
It's like a thank you for people we miss and can't say it to them anymore. I think you're starting to understand this now, and you have a few saints to remember today. Yes, I think I need a little reward for helping. Like, just a little bit of oats. Eat all. Well, I guess you never give up. I'm going to think about it. But right now, I think it's time for a closing prayer. Let's talk to God for a minute. Heavenly Father, we thank you for the many saints in our lives. They have taught us, provided us friendship, and were important in our lives. We miss them and will offer up their names to you today. In Jesus' name, we pray. Amen. Oh. Hi, I'm Linda Shook from the Yellow Springs United Methodist Church. I'm going to read today the Psalm 23. The Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want. He maketh me to lie down in green pastures. He leadeth me beside the still waters. He restoreth my soul. He leadeth me in the paths of righteousness for his name's sake. Yea, though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil, for thou art with me. Thy rod and thy staff, they comfort me. Thou preparest the table before me in the presence of mine enemies. Thou anointest my head with oil. My cup runneth over. Surely goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life. And I would dwell in the house of the Lord forever. Amen. Good morning, everyone, for church. Um, Rick has again asked me to do the scripture. And I did some searching and reading quite a few different versions. And I settled on the message this time because it kind of spoke to me more than some of the others. One of the background things that I did do was I wandered in the chapter before with which Jesus is at the Passover with his disciples. And it's one of where Jesus wipes the disciple, washes the disciples' feet, even though they didn't think that he should. But he told them they needed to have this done to sanctify them, to purify them. Uh, a little later on in the chapter, it's one of where we find and remember that Judas betrayed Jesus. And he left when Jesus was holding a piece of bread during the communion. So now we pick up in the message with chapter 14 that's actually called The Road. Don't let this throw you. You trust God, don't you? Trust me. There is plenty of room for you in my father's house. If that weren't so, would I have told you that I'm on my way to get a room ready for you? And if I'm on my way to get your room ready, I'll come back and get you so that you can live where I live. And you are already. on the road I'm taking. Thomas said, Master, we have no idea where you're going. How do you expect us to know the road? Jesus said, I am the road, also the truth, also the life. No one gets to the Father apart from me. If you really knew me, you would know my Father as well. From now on, you do know him. You've even seen him. Philip said, Master, show us the Father, then we'll be content. You have been with me all this time, Philip, and you still don't understand. To see me is to see the Father. So how can you ask, where is the Father? Don't you believe that I am in the Father? and the Father is in me. 
The words I speak to you aren't mere words. I don't just make them up on my own. The Father who resides in me crafts each word into a divine act. Believe me, I am in my Father, and my Father is in me. If you can't believe that, believe what you see, these works. The people who trust me will not only do what I am doing, but even greater things, because I, on my way to the Father, am giving you the same work to do that I have been doing. You can count on it. From now on, whatever you request, along the lines of who I am and what I'm doing, I'll do. That's how the Father will be seen for who he is in the Son. I mean it. Whatever you request in this way, I'll do it. Those were pretty powerful words, and I hope that maybe if this version doesn't speak to you, maybe you'll pick up the NIV or another version and have it speak to you. Let us pray. Lord, thank you for the longing that you place deep within us to know you, love you, and follow you. Help us to take this longing seriously and to act upon it, that we may find our way to our true home in you. Amen. I hope you all have a good week and hello to all the ones we've been missing. But I think we've been doing a good job at trusting in God and seeking his way for us. For Pastor Rick. When I find myself in time of trouble, Mother Mary comes to me, speaking words of wisdom, let it be. In my hour of darkness, she is standing right in front of me, speaking words of wisdom, let it be. Let's pray together. Gracious God, may the, may the words of my mouth and may the meditations of all of our hearts be acceptable in your sight, my rock and my redeemer. Amen. One of the, one of the gifts that we possess is the, um, the ability Remember, it's been said that elephants never forget. They never forget anything, but I'm not really certain of that fact. But, but I know that although I, I go throughout my, my day doing various tasks and duties that are needed to be done, at times I'm, well, I'm, I'm flooded with with um, many memories of, of, of my past and it can it can come with with a song or um, a smell of fresh bread um, 
it, it can even be the, the time of season, or even a, a silly commercial can, can bring about a memory that gives me a glimpse of, of my history. Many times, those, those memories are filled with loved ones who are no longer here walking around on this earth. But they, you know, they still fill a place in my mind and definitely a place in my heart. Sometimes the thoughts bring about a smile and, and uh, other times well, a tear or two. Mr. Rogers many times uh, hit this topic directly by sharing with children and adults who were watching that, that um, death occurs whether we like it or not. And also that it's, it's very sad. And despite all that we try to do about um, trying to prevent the event of dying, it will occur, whether we want it to happen or not. Mr. Rogers would say it's, it's a part of life, though we don't always have an answer for it. Because we don't yet have an answer for everything, do we? And, and Fred stated that it's okay to be sad just as much as it is to feel glad at times. But, um, but Mr. Rogers knew that there was much more to this life than living and dying. He knew there was comfort. Now, some would say, some would say there is no, there's no comfort. The late comedian George Carlin stated once that God must not be very good and and perfect because everything that God makes dies. But, but Mr. Carlin, who struggled with a faith, was not able to see what there was past the event of death. Because death is not the ending of the story, as many would want us to believe, but a celebration the next stage of new life. Jesus was, Jesus was always trying to make us understand about this hope in Scripture. But many just couldn't get it. The disciples struggled with the concept. The, the crowds who gathered weren't clear with the thought. And even at times we get so wrapped up and our own selfish desires to keep life and things the way they are, that we, we misstep the message that our death brings about healing and, and salvation, that we forget the joy there can be in entering the comfort of God's realm of eternal life. Motion pictures have tried to make it scary. And some people have tried to tell us that there is nothing more to this life than what we see. But Jesus tells a totally different story. Jesus says, Do not let your hearts be troubled. Believe in God. Believe also in me, in my Father's house, there are many dwelling places. If it were not so, would I have told you that I go to prepare a place for you? And if I go and prepare a place for you, I will come again and will take you to myself so that where I am, there you may be also. And you know the place where I am going. In this, in this service, in this, in this time, we remember 
many loved ones who left this world, but they haven't left our hearts. Today we remember these loved ones who have found comfort in the eyes of the Lord, in a place of comfort and eternal peace, a, a heavenly place filled with love and, and no pain and no worldly wants, but only a clear agenda that seeks to be with God. A place of comfort was a promise from our Savior who merely asked that we be in relationship with Him and He will be that with us. Today we celebrate those who ended their journey to find room with the Lord. And there is room to spare for us as well. There will be room for us too. There's always room for for more in this kingdom. You've heard me say that. And, and the next. That's the promise of a Savior who says, believe in me and I'll give you rest. And so much more. As we, as we recognize those saints who have, have traveled ahead of us, we lift them up and we give them to you, Lord. We do. But we will always remember them in our minds and our hearts. And as we, as we journey on our ways, remember, friends, that Jesus loves you. And Jesus loves me. This I know. We share these saints that have gone before us. Marilyn Kamizik. Patty Bruce. William Zimner. Aaron McCarty. Betty Louise Doring. Richard Phillips. Thelma Phillips. Brittany Vallejo. Marla Green. Dorothy Weinert, Marilyn Bailey, Bonnie Hoagland, John Hoagland, Robert Douglas, Alan Farley, Alice Farley, Richard Cox, Ron Symington, Dolores Kaler, Ernest Reif, Charlotte Zykan. Mike Zofat, Sandra Hitchens, Reverend Kendall Pierce, Wilma Payne Keen, Peg Champney, Diane Bobert. 
Brian Mahan, Larry Steiner, Bob Geiselman, We recognize these friends who have gone before us as well. Connie Ray. Meg Bowser. Bob Wilson. Bob Gaines. Geneva Powers, David Gillespie, Jean Crichton, Ernie Owens, Mildred Frazee, Rob Ryan. Jean McCroskey, Dean Bush, Jean Bush, and Dorothy Sander. Friends, let's pray together. We give you thanks, O oh God, for, for all the saints who ever worshipped you, whether in arbors or cathedrals, wooden churches or cement houses. We, we give you thanks, O oh God, for hands lifted in praise, manicured hands, hands stained with grease or oil, strong hands and hands gnarled with age, holy hands. We thank you, God, for hard-working saints, whether hard-hatted or aproned, blue-collared, or three-piece suited. They left their mark for you, for us, for our children to come. Thank you for your sacrifices made by those who have gone before us. Bless the memories of your saints. May we learn how to walk wisely from their examples of faith, dedication, worship, Lord, I want 
service we we recognize so many different names but you know there are more there are many more people who have influenced our lives throughout this year and well throughout our lives and we thank God for for all of them for forming us into the people of faith that we are and because of that they have strengthened us to be the manifest Christ. And because of that, you know what we can do? We can go. We can go out in the world. We can go out and we can share the good news. Now, I know that we're stuck in some ways because of this, this COVID situation. I get it. But friends, it doesn't stop us from serving Christ in different ways. Make calls. Text. Drive by and, and, and see people and, and wave. Um, do smoke signals. Uh, drop off food to someone whenever you feel like they're in need. Uh, do anything that you can to make people know that you're sharing your faith. And it makes a difference in their lives. And because of that, it'll change them. It will. It'll change them. It'll change you. So go and be blessed by God. And I hope that you have a great week. Go and remember all of those people who have done so much for us. Remember Jesus loves you.